my wife and I lived in Switzerland. I was writing my dissertation. This was 1969-70. And while we were there, we had an opportunity to hunt down her family. One little town we went to, um, we were hiking down from a mountain and went through a little town on the way down to the valley. Um, we knew that her ancestors had, some of her ancestors had been in this town and we poked around and indeed we found a house with her family name, her maiden name, written in the, under the gable of the house. And we went in and asked and introduced ourselves and um, got into a nice conversation with, uh, with uh, the couple, the old couple who, who lived there. And we were always drawn back to this place. We heard that, uh, no, the house is not for sale, but it had been willed to a very nice young couple. And so we thought on one of our hikes, we would just stop in and get to meet this nice young couple. It turns out the museum is four buildings, which, um, the, which her father-in-law uh, either had already owned or, or bought. And he had turned them into a museum. So we were looking in one of the buildings and um, saw, among other things, this old, this 1918 picture of the, of the building, of the, uh, the town. And there was uh, an armoire there, a cabinet, and we asked, well, what's in there? And she said, oh, those are documents. I said, well, <laughs> um, could we see them? Yes, you could see them. Um, and I was fascinated by them, and I immediately knew these were important. Um, and she said, oh, well, you know, you could take them down to the little house you're, you're living in, you're staying in here, and, and look at them and read them if you want to, and da, da, da. So I did that, and the more I read of these things, the more I realized that something had to be done. And so I took it upon myself to transliterate, begin to transliterate these documents and get this down on, on a, a, a CD um, so that should there be an avalanche or a fire, or whatever, uh, there would be a true record of what these what these documents were, and not just in in the original handwriting, but in my transliteration of them, my transcription of them. So here's an example. Um, this is a a school pupil's um, writing exercise book, and she would write. Her name is Ursula Hermann, and she would write little essays in this book about. The one right here happens to be an excursion, a little class excursion we took. Really, my favorite documents among all of these are the ones written by the kids and, and decorated by the kids. And so here's the text, and it's, it's here. the transliteration is over here, so that the people in the village who generally can't read this older script um, can see now exactly what is in this text. Um, so what I've done is, I've, there, obviously, this is all the, the transliterations are all in German, um, and so I've gone through the book and picked out a few things and translated them into English. This entry into her school book is called an excursion, uh, and she talks about a, a, a trip that uh, all the kids in the school, all the, the grades were, of course, in one schoolhouse and one teacher. Uh, and the teacher said to them one morning, would you like to go for a walk this afternoon? And so that's what they did. And they went home at noon. They were all excited about this. And, uh, and he took them for a walk. And uh, I'm pretty attached to this one, so my throat will close up occasionally. <laughs> uh, anyway, he took them up on the mountain. And uh, uh, as they got close to the top, he began to fall back a little. And then he let the kids get up to the top and see. You know, they've never been up there. And uh, <clears throat> I thought, why does this get me? Um, this is because what we do at Linfield. We take our students along, and then we kind of hang back and let them do the learning. You know? I, think, I think that's why.